You... What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This video is actually going to show some UFC Undisputed 3 footage, which has been a little bit missing on my channel as of late, and I do apologize for that. But the main reason why is because of just all the news that's been coming out with EA Sports UFC, so I really wanted to bring that kind of videos. But I'm going to continue to post UFC Undisputed 3 content, um, I have some ideas for some knockout montages and stuff like that and maybe some live commentary stuff. Uh, let me know if you guys be interested in either of those in the comments below. But in this fight, I'm fighting a guy who we got into the player match lobby and he, me and him both had like a bunch of fights back and forth. So big shout out to this guy for, um, you know, giving me the fights because it is hard to find uh, some good fights online these days on this game the servers are pretty uh, there's not many people on the servers but I rock him up against the fence there drop him down try to go for that submission but it doesn't really work out I thought that uh, Mad Sarah would have better submissions but I guess with this particular submission he didn't but um, yeah in this fight we both picked random and I ended up getting Matt the Terracera, and he got Phil Baroni. And Phil Baroni, if you've never used him, is actually really good in this game. He's got the power knees, got good striking, good kicks. And he's just an all-around good fighter to use. So if you have not tried him, definitely try him out. But I get him up against the cage here. And if you notice, my thing in this game is I pretty much always try to keep punching the head at all times. It doesn't matter what position I'm in. I always just try to punch something, maybe the body or the head, but when you, even when you're on the bottom, all those little little punches to the head, they all add up little amounts of damage each time. So that's one thing that I do do more recently that I've noticed is I just always am always inflicting damage, even from the bottom. Uh, even from like positions like that up against the cage, you can like punch your opponent's body and stuff, but I didn't do it that time because I didn't want to get slammed. But other than that, Matt Serra is pretty bad in this game. He's short. Uh, he doesn't really have... I mean, I'm getting pieced up right there in the striking, so I, I catch a punch to try to slow down the damage. But right there, get a nice uppercut at the end of the round and gets a little bit more damage. But between rounds, he does recover a little bit. And I'm trying to, I think, take him down and work some ground and pound at this point. It's all about switching it up. You know, if, if they think you're going to strike, you want to try to get the takedown. Obviously, the same with any, uh, with real MMA too. You can't just be one-dimensional, so you got to keep them guessing. I'm throwing some counter knees, and I'm really getting pieced up because Baroni's got that really fast overhand right. If you did not know, it's like a you hold the power modifier LB. Uh, Chuck Liddell has it. A few other guys have it. It's a really good punch. And right there, I got my stamina low and instantly noticed that the stamina was low, so I hit the back and get the instant sprawl that was pretty cool but I'm just kind of trying to sneak in some shots with Matt Sarah trying to land some powerful combinations he's got the ducking overhands and also he's got I think an uppercut I'm not sure exactly but he, he's working some good side control right here but I managed to get back to guard and to my feet and at this point his head's pretty red so I'm looking for I'm looking to finish the fight. Right there, I land that nice head kick. He does have the head kick as well. so, And he's got the spinning back fist. So you can definitely use that. He drops me with a nice punch and tries to land some ground and pound by switching up the timing. It does not work out. But there we go right there. I land the spinning back fist and a couple shots afterwards. I set up that spinning back fist with a ducking under overhand punch which made him want to come in and then I threw the spinning back fist and it caught him coming in absolutely beautiful knockout he was going for a stepping push kick I believe and it caught him right on the chin that's the fight guys hope you enjoyed that video let me know if you guys want some more UFC Undisputed 3 content in the comments and I will be sure to keep making these UFC 3 videos also, leave what fighter you want me to use in the comments as well. Other than that, guys, make sure to follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter. Till next time, this has been MMA Game. Peace out, though.